Hi guys, uh, I'm going to give a quick overview of the different areas of this sheet or of this uh, workbook. Um, if you went through the tutorial videos, you'll know what I'm talking about in each of these areas. And I'm just, again, I'm just going to go over each quickly as a general overview. Overview. So we've got a couple different areas. We've got an area where we enter in our data, which is our main database. Then we have a, an area where we enter in our athlete profiles. These are things that don't really change over time, like date of birth, um, maybe their position of a sport. And that's in the uh, athlete profiles data entry area. And then we have a team dashboard that is using that data that we enter in and displaying something that we can interact with. We have a player dashboard that we have not gotten to yet, but they will talk to each other, the team dashboard and player dashboard. You'll be able to go back and forth between them. And then we have a metric and category weightings panel. So this is a fitness testing dashboard design. And what you do here is you give different metrics that you collect and different metric categories. Let's say that you collect um, 10 meter sprint, 20 meter sprint. They might both go into a speed category and you're able to weight those metrics differently um, for the score that that category gives. So you might weight the 10 meter sprint 60% and the 20 meter sprint 40% of the total um, of the category score. And then you also weight the categories if you want some sort of overall score. So it, speed might only be 20% of the overall score because you also collect stuff on power and strength and um, screening or asymmetries or something like that. And then we have an area uh, where you can set colors. So these are certain thresholds like I want all my guys above uh, 24 inches on vertical jump to be green. You can do that there, for example. Or you might have different groups of people. I want all my under 18s that are greater than 24 inches to be green, but all my under 20s greater than 28 inches to be green. And that's kind of the area where you go about um, setting those things up. Then there's a custom scoring panel. This is really complex, but it's really cool at the same time. So you decide how you score things based on um, standard deviations and you can set the number of standard deviations. Um, you can use max and min values in the data set or you can set your own arbitrary values um, that will govern the scores that players get from the metrics that you have. And then there's this list panel and all this is is just lists of things that we use uh, to talk to our visualizations. But if you need another list and you're kind of savvy with Excel, um, you can add your own and if you make updates to your database you should see updates in the list for example if you add another athlete profile you should see that in that list in this area that another profile is added there so hopefully uh, that helps and in the next uh, video I guess I'll go through a couple of these areas